Hello, people of the YouTube universe, and welcome to the B3DP community on the Bushido 3D channel. Today, we're going to be checking out the E3D V6. I ordered mine from MatterHackers.com, and that will be the hot end to uh, replace my old one that broke on my Robo 3D R1+. Plus. So, without farther ado, let's get straight into it. Well, let's go ahead and open up the package. Alright, now that's open. Here we have the main bag with everything in it. And this is the E3D All Metal V6 Hot End. It's 1.75 millimeter, and of course, it's 12 volt universal direct. And this is an awesome hot end setup. So let's get straight into going over the components. Oh, yes, and also, this video is part one of three videos. This is the taking a look at the components, aka the unboxing video. The second one is the assembly video. And then part three will be the installation onto the printer. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it in three parts. The second and third part may be combined. But we'll see how everything goes. So let's continue. So before we unpackage um, everything, I'm just gonna put down this mouse pad to protect all of our components. All right, so let's take out these two bags and uh, this short piece of folding tubing. And first up we have in this bag one, I guess we have our heat brake, we have our heater block, we have our actual heat sink and the nozzle itself, along with the heat sink compounds and some allen keys, some screws, and useful components. And then in the second bag, we have what looks like an injection molded fan holder um, and our little fan, a silicone sock for the heat block, and some pretty awesome thermistor wires. I really like this design, especially compared to uh, this one with two little dinky wires that go into this little small space. So these will definitely stay alive or work for a lot longer, which is great. All right, so finally, let's just lay out all of the parts. Bowden tubing. Just want to make it a little bit more clear for everyone. Then here we have our heatsink. This is very nice. I, I like the design of it. I really do like that. Then we have our heater block. That's nice. And we have our 0.4 millimeter nozzle right here. Oh, and our heat brake also. Then in this bag, we just have the the universal fixing kit, as they call it, right here. Just contains necessary components and some Allen keys. And then looks like the soft pack heat compound. Second bag. All right, in the second bag, we have, of course, this little very nice blue injection molded fan holder, which will go onto the heat sink just like that. That looks nice. It feels good. If I can only get it off. There we go. Now we also have a couple other connectors and our thermistor wires, and then we have our fan, just in case you're wondering, blows this way, so out, of course, out of the label, almost, it's, you want to think of that that way, and then we have a zip tie, the silicone sock right here, which is actually very nice, I like that, let's see how it fits on here, oh, nice and snug, that's good, that is very good to know that all the parts fit, so, this should conclude part one. Remember to stay tuned for part two, which will come up within the next week or so, which will be the assembly of all this. And then part three should be uh, soon after that. And that will be the installation of this hot end setup onto my printer. And that will be really, really fun. I'm excited to set that up and start printing again. 
All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. Also, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, make sure to leave me a comment. I would love to answer your questions. And please remember to subscribe to this channel as it sure does help out a lot. And also remember to ring that notifications bell so that you know when the latest videos are released. Okay, thanks for watching, go make something awesome, and I will see you in the next video.